mega on because today I'm gonna be talking about my finalized skincare routine for the winter. All right, so um, I'm pretty simple and I don't like doing a whole lot of things. All the stuff that I did to my face how did I have skin left? But anyway, so I am just showing you guys the simplest way that I keep my skin healthy and clear. And here we go. So this is my skin. I don't have any foundation. I don't have anything on my skin at all. Just me. It has been very, very good to me. I have not had that many breakouts. I've had a few small bumps and those go away very quickly. So I've been blessed. That was not always the case. And I think that had to do with um, my diet and also how much crap I was putting on my skin. So now I am very, very low key. My skincare routine is about as complicated as my hair routine, which y'all know is like, I don't even do anything. <laughs> For my skin, I just cleanse with a mild cleanser, um, hydrate with a gel serum, and then I add an oil, and then once a week, I use a deep cleansing detoxifying mask on my skin. All natural, nothing with a bunch of crazy complicated ingredients. I think the thing that's the most complicated that I put on my skin is my gel serum, which is just about gone. Because I use it a lot. But I think the most important thing that I do is I take off my makeup immediately. Like, I remember back in the day and I used to joke and be like, people have get ready with me videos and they walk around and got the space full of makeup, like where is you going for real, for real? I don't, as soon as I'm finished with the video, as soon as I'm finished taking my, my pictures, I wash my face. It is very rare that I ever leave the house Real talk, with any makeup at all. And sometimes I might have to go run and do something real quick and I will have just made a video and I don't have time to remove the lashes and remove the contacts and remove the makeup and stuff. And I feel so self-conscious walking around with all of that makeup on because to be completely honest, when I'm under these bright lights, I have to apply my makeup kind of very heavily because then all of ours, you won't, you won't see it. So because I do use makeup a lot and because I do wear um, foundation and I like full coverage foundation, I have to make sure that I take care of my skin. So the first thing that I do is I go and I take my shower and I wash my face in the shower and that's it. I don't do any exfoliating scrubs. I don't use that Queen Helene apricot scrub back in the day. What is it, St. Ives? I don't use any of that stuff. I just wash my face, okay? I get all the oils that have accumulated over my midnight slumber and I wash it down the drain. And I have my coconut oil to my entire life, okay? From the head to the bottom, all right? Put this stuff on your strands, put it on your bills, put it on your marriage, put it on your husband, put it just about everywhere except for my face. Because I find that coconut oil is a little bit too heavy for my face. So what I use is I use a gel serum because I, I really like the lightness and that is what I was using all throughout the summer. Well now it's getting into winter time and I find that I need to add a little bit of oil to keep my skin moisturized and keep my skin hydrated. So I have been using rose hip seed oil and I put that on my face, all over my face and that is the only oil that touches my face. And because it is getting cold, I have to apply a little bit more oil. So I wanna make sure that I get all of that gunk out of my skin once a week. I detoxify and I use my sand and sky, which is an amazing clay mask. See how it soaked up the excess oil that's in my nose, which is a very oily area for me. My forehead is like, I can see the ring light glistening in my forehead. And there's like no oil whatsoever on my face. This is just like, my skin is dry and I didn't put any kind of moisturizer on my face. At all. Favorite detox mask. Oh! They see it's like a natural glow, and there's like no pores. After I do my clay mask and I thoroughly wipe all the clay off of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of rose hip seed oil to my face so it can be nice and moisturized because it's cold outside. And the last thing you want is an ashy face, okay? Super simple ingredients, stuff that you can actually pronounce and that you can, and you know what it is. And that's what I like putting on my face. You know, this year I've done a complete revamp of 
things that are surrounding me and things that I put in my body and stuff that I eat. And then I just wanted that to transcend into my skincare routine and my hair routine and my life. 2017 is almost over. Let's go into 2018 with healthy, detox, bright skin. Okay, because there's enough stuff we need to drop. There's some things, I got resolutions already. And thank you guys for the really awesome comments that you guys give me. Sometimes I feel like I wake up and I'm like, Shrek. <laughs> but the one thing I can say is that my skin is very healthy and I am very happy because I am getting older. And I gotta take good care of it, okay? Because, you know, you see like Angela Bassett and stuff and they're looking like they're 30 and they're in their 50s and stuff. That's, not, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And all the information on the products that I like to use are in the description box below, including the Sand and Sky Detoxifying Brightening Mask. If you guys have any questions, just ask me in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.